if you have an Elegoo Mars and it's kind of getting dated with all these new screens that are printing so much faster, well today I have a treat for you. We're going to upgrade your Elegoo Mars with the new monochrome 2K LCD screen upgrade kit for your Elegoo Mars. Stay tuned. We're going to review it. Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Elegoo Mars or your Elegoo Pro to a mono screen. A six inch mono screen brought to you by Chitto Systems. This is one of those rare occasions where I was looking at buying something and the company reached out to me and asked if I would review it. So I am very lucky because I was buying the screen and doing this video regardless if I got this given to me. But Cheeto Systems did reach out to me and asked if I would review this screen. And gladly, did not tell them that I was going to buy it, said yes! Now if you have the Elegoo Mars, you're probably asking yourself, Will, why do I want this? If you're like me, you've replaced your screen quite a few times because the life expectancy of that screen is only 200 hours. The life expectancy of a mono screen is 2,000 hours. Plus, you're going to speed up your printing 25% faster. That's right. Instead of doing 8 seconds per exposure, it does 2.5 seconds per exposure. Big difference. Saves a lot of time. You're making your Elegoo Mars or your Elegoo Pro a little bit bigger in space. You're adding more speed and you're making the lifespan of this a lot longer. Now this retails for $49.99. They've been having sales here and there for $46.99 and that's the price of this upgrade kit. So a little bit more than a regular screen would cost you. Very good that it's in the same price point. So without further ado, let's get over to the workbench and see what it's like installing this screen. So this is what came today. I'm gonna open this up. It looks like it was taped down. Open this bad boy up. It looks like some metal pieces to fill in for the Elegoo Mars. Some tape pieces and very nicely neatly tucked in it looks like the new LCD screen, the six inch one. And that's what the screen looks like. Connection looks the same and that's the new screen. So we have the Elegoo Mars here. You had a toolkit that came with it. All we have to do is use the Allen key and take some parts off. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to go right here and go ahead and pop these out. Go around to the other side and pop these out as well. All right, so this, if you grab the edges, should pop right off. But be careful as you do this. It might be a little sticky from resin. Just be careful, gentle, because there is a ribbon cable, which I'm going to show you. So we just want to get to the edge of the printer. You're going to turn it on its side. If you look right there, there's a ribbon cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to detach this ribbon cable because it'll make it easier to work on. Let's go ahead and push down on this tab. And be gentle. Just push down on that tab just like so and peel the tape up and this should come right off. Just be gentle with this cable. All right, and then we'll take this piece and we'll put it off to the side. All right, and this will give us access to the board right here. So what we want to do is right here there's a piece of tape. I'm going to peel that tape off like so and then we're just going to gently with your nail pop this off like so. That's it. Now the screen is disconnected. Now we have to get the screen up. This is still a good screen so I want to be gentle with this and I did place the screen in here with the original tape. I'm going to try and gently peel it up. Yours might be a little bit harder. You might have to get a spatula or something. I know that this isn't because I had to take this off because I thought something was wrong with my printer. So I'm going to gently just go along the bottom here. I'm just using my nail. You can use a spatula that came with your printer. You can use that as well. And I'm just going to gently pry that up. I need to go back to it. Well, the next thing we want to do is I want to get under here to get holders, the vat holders off. So we're going to go for that next. All right, go to the other side. Now that's done. 
Now, it did come with some tape to put along the edges, but this has been pretty sticky. This is the second screen that I've changed, so I'm not gonna recreate the wheel. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and put it right over here instead of trying to take all that tape off. I just don't think it's necessary because this stuff is plenty sticky. So go ahead and place that right in there. But like so, we'll line up those holes. And then we're gonna take those screws and pop this right back here the VAT holders, put them back on. So far, this has been a pretty fairly straightforward, simple process. So for anybody that doesn't think they can do this, I beg to differ. And surprisingly, these screws are plenty long for this I'm gonna hit this with some alcohol real quick and clean it because you might have accidentally touched it and we don't want to have that going on to our prints. So let's open this up, hit that real quick. With a glass cleaner or a glass wipe, uh, your Elgu Mars may not have a piece of glass here, mine does. Now we'll go ahead and grab this LCD screen. All right, so that's supposed to go in there like that, but we need to push it over more, that's weird. So I'm wondering, do we bend it? It has to fit in that square, correct? I feel like something's wrong here. All right, we'll just pancake it down. Yeah, I guess that's what you gotta do, is just pancake it down. Not a big fan of that, but if it works, it works. I'll take the plastic off it first. Let's take this off. So we wanna make this rectangle in here, and it's gonna pinch a little bit there. I hope that's not gonna cause a problem. Try and get this down first like so try not to go too much over the screen and I assume that's what you would do right there okay that's all connected now we got this big old screen come around to this side now and we're just gonna connect this this thing's always a pain in the butt to connect well, it sounds like it's in there screen is installed this back in place like so push it in put that pressure clamp right back in there push down on that and push down on that right there all right and for now put that tape down for now I'm just gonna push it on and I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna hook it up and hook in the drivers that's the next step and we'll put those screws back in after I'm done checking the drivers all right so it wasn't that bad to install the screen now let's go over to the computer get the firmware and set it up for print. All right, so here we are at cheetosystems.com. That's where we're gonna go for the website. It is the six inch LCD upgrade kit for your Alagoo Mars. We're gonna click on this because we're gonna go right to that and it's only $46.99. All right, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we're gonna go, where do we download firmware? I need, so we're gonna go to download firmware. Now, this is throwing me off. I already looked at this and it says it's the Alagoo Mars 2 Pro firmware. Maybe we're we're upgrading it so I'm gonna try it and download it worst case scenario I can always download the older firmware minimize that open up that okay bring this to the desktop because I just like to do that we'll move that to trash minimize that so what I like to do is we're gonna open this up and I actually just recently did a video on this you can see that right here how to update the firmware but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put it on the root file and we're gonna get the machine firmware grab all that throw it in there okay grab this throw it in there okay and that is my jump drive we're gonna eject that all right, and we'll pull that out. Now that's ready for the firmware update. All right, we're gonna take that jump drive, stick it right in the back here, like so. Spin it around and connect it to power and switch it on. Just did a bunch of beeps. Now it's gonna load. Now we'll go to print, CBD file, CBD file, hit print. Let it do its magic. All right, okay, now we gotta reset the power. So we're gonna go back here, turn it off, pull it out, turn it back on. All right, go to the tools, 
exposure and test the exposure. And we'll do that little thing. And we have a screen, it looks good. We're gonna go back to the website here and if you scroll down to the bottom, you gotta upgrade the firmware, we do all that. The next thing we need to do is adjust the settings on Chittobox. We're gonna skip the Pro because it's not the Pro and we're gonna go straight to the Mars and this is what we gotta change. If you have the Pro, you go up here and you follow this. But if you have the Elegu Mars, we gotta do this. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna open up Chittobox. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna add printer. I'm gonna go to Elegu Mars and we're gonna go to Elegu Mars Pro 2 right here. We're gonna grab that machine, we're gonna hit OK. All right, so from here, I'm gonna change the name of this printer to Elegu Mars instead of Pro. I'm gonna put upgrade, okay? Hit enter to that, so that way I know it's not a real Mars 2. And from looking at the screen, it looks like everything stays the same except the build offset area. This should be seven. This should be four, this should be four, and this should be 2.5. If we look at it, that's what it looks like on the website. So now everything should be set and ready to go. Nothing else has to be changed in this. So now we'll keep it on this one. We'll exit out of here. We're gonna go ahead and import the Deadpool. It's just a model that I do to judge how a printer's doing. Cause I have one done already so we can see how much faster this is and how, how much better detail it is. That is the scale of the model. The resin that I'm using is Jang He Conjure Tough. I did a review on it. You guys can take a look at that right here. I'll leave a link in the description. It looks like it only has one profile for the Elegu Mars Pro. So we're gonna just go with that. We're gonna go ahead and slice this and see how long it's gonna take. And I can already see it's gonna be three hours and eight minutes. That's crazy. And just to give you guys some reference, if I go back and I change the settings, this is why I kept the Mars in here. Okay, and I slice it for this one. Almost five hours you're looking at. That's quite a significant amount of time. It saves you in printing. And not only does it save you in printing, but it's saving the screen. And that's why the screen's gonna last longer. It's a desktop for now, and I'll transfer the file, and we'll start a print. All right, so that's how you set everything up. That was over two weeks ago, guys, that I set that up. And I did quite a few prints. I did have a problem. That's why it's been over two weeks. Usually I only test the product for a week with the prints looking like this and creating a film. Now I thought it was the screen and I'm going back and forth with them, back and forth with them. Well, it turns out it was this little USB stick. And it turns out this was the culprit. So if you're having any problems printing, I just want to share this with you. Your USB stick might be going bad. So as soon as I changed out the USB stick, everything's been coming out great. The print still came out great. It just would leave a film. So far, I'm very happy with the screen. Let me show you some of the prints today. The first one I tried was the Deadpool because that's my go-to print because it doesn't need any supports and I can kind of see the detail and I know it really well because I painted it quite a few times. I really don't see a difference in the print quality. I did notice quite a bit in the speed. So you guys can take a look at this and see what the resolution looks like see if you guys see anything then I wanted to see how big the build plate was so I went with a giant Alice as big as Alice can be on this printer this I'm gonna show you what it looks like with supports I think she came out really good the resolution looks really good on this printed out beautifully I wanted to do a print in the gem he to test out different resins and it didn't come out right because I didn't put a support on her elbow and this is what happened it, it did print but it didn't print right so I did a mixture of Elegu and gem he because I don't waste my resin and this was what I I came up with and I, I think Raven printed out really nice she's floating I thought that was really cool exciting the detail came out beautiful so then I decided I wanted to do like a miniature so I did a COVID-19 orc thought that was pretty cool looking and I grabbed that and that's the orc I did I think it came out really good the detail came out really good and the biggest thing was its speed it was just faster sometimes it would be an hour to almost two hours off the print time and then I did on Boba Fat I'm gonna show you that he came out really Really good the detail on him came out really impressive I like the way it did that supports broke off really nicely and it printed nice and strong now to give you an idea the first five layers are 35 seconds after that it goes to 2.5 seconds I haven't had any problems printing at that speed with the standard Elegoo Mars with this new screen it's been awesome so good that I actually
actually am up to 17 prints. I got really big into resin 3D printing again. One is a Batman that I'm working on right now. If you could see it back there, Red Hood is under there, but I did the Batman. I haven't gotten a chance to clean him up and get all the pieces together, but I will show you a little bit of a preview. Came out really nice. I'm very proud of that. I'll also show you a quick time lapse of it printing with the new Atlas camera that I'm working with. Stay tuned for that review. This is a great little time lapse camera that's coming out soon. But all in all, I think this is a no brainer upgrade, guys. It's gonna be way easier to change the screen. You're getting faster print times. You're getting a little bit bigger of a volume and the longevity of the screen. It doesn't really get me questioning anymore. Should I print? I don't wanna worry about the screen going bad. The screen's good and it's easy enough to take out and put a new one in because all you have to do is remove tape, put it on there. I give it a five out of five, guys. I think if you want to upgrade your Elegoo Mars and get to the speeds of the Elegoo Mars Pro 2, 50 bucks or $46.99, it's a no-brainer. I would definitely do it. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way. And remember to ring that bell if you want to get notified when I make a video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Pretty proud of that, though. I'm not going to lie. I love the way that looks. It's not perfect. It probably needs a paint job, but it's nice that everything's right there for me to work on. This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. Don't know what to tell you.